Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. So we killed a pig last weekend on the farm and we have the skin and we have the fat. And this is the fat, the visceral fat, the fat that's on the inside of the hog's belly that we cook down and we make lard. So we make lard with the fat and we're going to show you how we render that and we take the skin and we make pork cracklings for putting in cornbread which is basically little pieces of skin or we can make pork skins or we can make some awesome treats for our dog. Come on with us today. We're gonna to teach you how to render lard and make pork cracklings. It'll be a good time, all right? Woo! Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. So we're here at the cutting board and what we're doing is taking these large pieces of what we call leaf fat and we will cut them into blocks about this big, put it in the pot, and boil it down until it renders lard. Get off me. Yeah, yeah. The next step here is slicing this up into cubes and we're gonna put it, we've already got started over here, we're gonna put it in the pot with the already boiling fat and then we'll pour out the lard into mason jars and we'll have it for our family to eat on. It's gonna be awesome. So we'll take the skin and if we wanna make pork cracklings, which is something that you might have to Google, it's just a little piece of skin that we leave, that we cook, we basically deep fry it, and then you put it in cornbread, it's absolutely delicious. Or you can use it as a snack. We can eat this like pig skins, like you have in the grocery store you buy, or you can cut this up, make cracklings, or we can make delicious dog treats. This stuff is really, really thick and makes great dog treats. It'd almost be a shame to waste this on dog treats, so we're probably gonna make it for our own consumption. So let's get busy cutting. So here's our piece of skin, and the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna set our fat to the side, and we'll take our piece of skin here, which is really tough, and we're just gonna use a standard razor knife, and we're gonna slice it into strips, okay? And these strips are probably gonna be about this wide. Now we're gonna take those strips and we're going to cut them probably in thirds. It's much easier to cut this when they're already cooled and if you flip it down skin side down it doesn't tend to slip all over the cutting board. It's not an exact science, you're just cutting it up. And we'll take these and we'll make pig skins out of them. Delicious low carb snack. Now the lard here we'll cut into smaller little cubes so that we can throw it in there and boil it off. The size of the cube that you want is going to be somewhere around half the size of your fist, okay? You'll find the longer you work with this, the better you'll get with your knife and the better you'll get at cutting it up. We're going to take this board and we're going to dump it in the pot. I'll bring you over here. Alright, so he's going to rake all the cracklings off in our already boiling oils. This is the all natural way, guys. The old way. Now in the old days, the women would be inside the house, or right outside the house, making dinner and cooking up the cracklings and rendering the lard. But we didn't have that many old women to help us, did we? No, we don't want old women, we want young women. You can see, it's looking good. So as time goes on, over the next hour, maybe two hours, it takes to render all this fat. Basically, we've cooked it down from chunks this size down to chunks, yeah, the size of the end of your thumbnail here. We will go ahead and we'll pour all that fat off into jars and we'll jar it up. I wish I could bring you in here and let you smell the aroma, the, the, the smell of vision I wish I had smell of vision so you could just smell the aroma, the pork aroma. It's just a really delicious smell that's going on here in the basement, my dad's house. Pretty awesome. So my dad wanted to show you, we still have the ears. This is the ears and the top portion of the scalp. And over here we have the feet, okay? So the ears and the feet and the liver will all be boiled down to make what's called souse meat. It's basically what you call head cheese. Now you can Google head cheese if you want to, but it's just a delicious treat that's made from pork, from boiling this stuff down and rendering it up and making it delicious. Some folks call it scrapple, some folks call it head cheese, and some folks call it souse meat. Delicious stuff. All pork products. Nothing on this pig is going to waste. Now previously when we made sausage in a video, a lot of folks were commenting on this stuff back here. These big carboys, which are big glass containers, what do they contain? Well they contain wine that we made when we were young kids back in the 80s and they also contain homemade apple cider vinegar. And underneath here, 
is homemade apple cider vinegar. We're going to tease you with that a little bit and we're going to talk about that stuff in a future vlog. We'll show you how to make it. So stick around. Right now we're going to let all this fat cook up. We're going to give it about a good hour and then we'll show you pouring it into jars. It's really interesting. I think it's really fun. Guys, this is the time when I say click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and follow our farm journey. We're going to take you places you've never been and teach you things you never learned. It's going to be awesome. Thanks. Click the like button. Subscribe. Click that bell down there. It'll tell you when I post a new video. All right. So you need to know here, this stuff is extremely, extremely dangerous to work with, okay? You're going to have to stir it. You're going to have to get in there and stir the bottom of the pot. Ideally, you'd want to be outside doing this, and you want plenty of space. In case this pot were to start tipping, you got to get back. This is an extremely dangerous process. The temperatures here can reach 300, 400 degrees if you're not careful. And basically, ideal temperature would probably be a little close to boiling. But you can tell. You just kind of have to get a feel for it as you cook. You want to be careful not to burn, but you also want your fat to render. A lot of people get burnt fooling with grease and boiling things like this. Even boiling a turkey is very unsafe, so you have to be very, very careful. You have to be smart about it. And here's what we're looking at, guys. We're going to stick a thermometer, a digital thermometer in there, and see what our temperature is. About 240. While we're working at this process, you can really tell as the cracklings, as the fat starts to get brown, it shrinks up and starts to almost get powdery, okay? Now some of this will pour off the cracklings, which is the leftover pieces, in with the lard so that we can make cornbread with it, and some of it will just pour straight lard in the jars. Now, is it good for you? Is it better for you than these hydrogenated oils that you can get in the store? Do the research. I think it's better for you. All right, now we've been at it here for about an hour and 10 minutes. We'll show you what we got here, okay? Here's what it looks like, all right? So that's your pork skins and your cracklings here, pork skins. And basically we got to stir and kind of push down. See how that behaves? And roll, just roll it and put the stuff that needs to be cooked down in there deeper. Let the already cooked stuff kind of float to the top. Isn't that beautiful? Today's my dad's 66th birthday. Pretty good birthday present right here. Folks, if you like what you see here and you're enjoying this and you're learning, be sure you click that like button and leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell down there at the bottom. It'll tell you when I post a new video. What good would it be to be subscribed if you couldn't see when I posted a new video? So we set some of this out to the side. Mmm, it's crunchy. That's nothing like you'd get in a store. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. So this is a fresh made pork skin. Mmm. -mm. We'll give that a few minutes and let it dry. You can hear it popping. As it cools, it starts to pop like Rice Krispies. Mm -hmm. We take a cardboard box and we lay paper towels in and we let the oil drain out of the cracklings. Scooping them out. Down in here in the pan, this will be the rendered lard. You slowly scoop until you get all of the little cracklings out that you can. And these will sit over here and cool and the oil will drain out of them. Here we are. We've taken our quart jars, we've already taken the lids off of them, and ergonomically it makes more sense for the jars to be on the right hand side. So we're going to slide this over a little bit. We're going to take a measuring cup and we're just going to pour into the jars. This is a point where you really, really have to be careful, okay? Just basically fill our jars up. And this is a glass measuring cup. Put the lid on, nice and snug. Remember, it's going to be hot. Set it to the side and it should seal itself and keep from now on. Now you can do half gallon jars or you can do quart jars. Quart jars fit in the cabinet a little bit better. Half gallon jars are a little more cumbersome. Depends on what you got laying around. That's how country folks do it. Put your jar down. Dip into that beautiful lard. 
put your lid on as tight as you can get it just like that now have yourself a rag handy in case your jars get too hot and you can squeeze them down tight you're gonna make a bit of a mess so be prepared for that have it in an area that you don't really care about making a big mess do it out in the yard somewhere dip it down in there bring it on out Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? It, it's so clear, crystal clear, almost like a yellow hue, and it's just going to turn beautiful white when it gets done cooling off. It's, it's just a beautiful thing. Something I really enjoy here. While you're setting your jars out, you want to leave about that much space in between them so that they can all cool evenly. Don't get in a hurry. This is a special time. Don't get in a hurry. Guys, sometimes just the simple solitude of watching somebody work and do something like this just, I don't know, it brings peace to you. It's just a simple piece in doing a good job and doing a doing the job right. So folks, here's our finished product. Here's all our lard, and these are our cracklings, okay? I'll get you a little close-up of the cracklings. Now we have pork skins, and down in here, these are the cracklings right here. And that's what you cook down in your cornbread. Basically, you put them in the bottom of your cornbread pan, and you cook that up with your cornbread. Or you can just eat it like this. Mmm. Just a taste you don't get anywhere else. Now folks, with the sun setting on beautiful Appalachia, right here, beautiful, beautiful lard that we've rendered up today. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We're on my dad's place today. I hope you learned a little something about how to render lard. Beautiful, beautiful experience here with my dad on his birthday. We're gonna shine the sunlight through this. Guys, don't forget, click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. More stuff like this. It won't be every day, but hopefully you can learn a little bit of something on this channel and have some fun. All right? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Come on back and see me. It's good stuff. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Just beautiful. In the land of the free and the home of the brave I'm proud of who I am and I'm proud of what I made on a stony reef. Woo! Hee <laughs> hee!